Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going on another food adventure. So our first stop is Hawkins House of Burgers. I've never been to any of these places, so this is a new experience for me and it's gonna be fun. So let's go. All right, so we're setting up to eat right now and I wanna show you guys something because uh, look at this. So Marissa got this foldable <laughs> table that comes with chairs. Look at this. It was literally like a little suitcase a minute ago. Yes. And now, oh. <laughs> And now it's a table. Now it's a whole table, yes. And we also have an umbrella. We're ready, we're prepared. You guys, look at this freaking burger. What is this, the Leaning Tower of Watts? Yeah. This, this is insane. How do we even start? There's a sausage in there, a whole sausage. <laughs> and Just some hanging out. rings on top. Onion ring. Wow. We also have a uh, oxtail plate here from Peppers. Look at these, this is so good. And then this is a jerk chicken plate. Oh, look at this. That little plantain, so a little, uh, I don't I figure out what it's called, but I know it's like kind of like a version of a hush puppy. Yes, I'm excited. Got some fries. I think some yeah. strawberry lemonade. I didn't even introduce you guys to my vlog. So this is Marissa. Hi. This, so I met Marissa a few years ago and she was like the person that really introduced me into the food oh. scene. So yeah, I remember meeting you at Smorgasburg. And yeah. you invited me to the um, the okay. alligator. Yes. Yeah, alligator like that was barbecue. like the first mm -hmm. um, meeting with you. And then Reach. He's from Food Beast. What's up? Um, when did I meet you? I met you sometimes last year. I don't Some, know. Uh, yeah, sometimes like a little over a year. Yeah, ago. but every time I see you guys, it's always food involved. So it's always a good time. So what makes it a good jerk chicken? You, you gotta have uh, the pimento. Okay. The, the pepper, and it's peppery and it's spicy from the scotch bonnet. Um, that, you know, when I had it in Jamaica, it had a slight numbingness to that uh, spice. Kind of like similar to Swe uh, Szechuan food, but just the, the pepperiness of, of the jerk seasoning uh, is what's really characteristic of it. This one's a very wet sauce. Yeah. And it's really spicy. Oh, look at this. But I like yeah. it. What I like about the uh, Scotch bonnet as a pepper is like it's very flavorful. Yeah. You got mm. rice on your camera. <gasps> I'm saving it for later. <laughs> okay. I'm, fe I'm feeding everyone. Nice. Dude, I feel like I need a. It's like a birthday cake. <laughs> it's so massive. Put a candle in it. Yo, shit. Ooh. Wait, did you need to, you need to take a bite of it, right? Are you over here? Mm, it's fine. Oh, oh Ben's about to dive into this burger. I'll just hit this side right the jerk chicken. chicken. chicken is so flavorful. Spicy. Huh. But super flavorful. Oh, Hot tail. Let's get into it. That's life. Mm -hmm. Ooh. The fat on this oxtail. Yeah, I'm excited for the oxtail. All right, so we also stopped by Peppers. We got some oxtails. We got some Jamaican beef patties. And I got some mm. oxtail right here. Love. I love having the plantains because it gives it a nice sweetness to balance out the like the richness and the um, spiciness of uh, the jerk. Yeah, it's yeah. almost like cornbread. Mm -hmm. It's like eating with cornbread. Right? Well, oh, this no, no, sorry, the, plantain, the, the plantain. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, the festival is what is that? Kind of like cornbread. It's, it's like a hush puppy ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Haven't really touched this uh, little slaw action. Yeah, I think it's like refreshing you up. Mm hmm. Do you guys like slaws? Do you guys fuck with mm -hmm. slaws? Okay. Mm -hmm. I like it as a practical dish. As long as they're done well. I think they're uh, Jamaican slaws are more vinegary, like not they don't have Pickle. a lot of stuff. I like those. Mm-hmm. It's like guy for Viet for Vietnamese people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I love about braised and stewed meats is like mm -hmm. it just tastes like some time was taken into it. It's like um, an embodiment of the loving care it takes to making a great dish. Okay. Time and effort. Time and effort. Name, I've never heard anyone say, I don't fuck with braised meats. Like, oh, yeah. Like, no one ever Who says, says no one ever says, oh, yeah. ugh, slow cooked meats. Like, I just don't do it. Yeah. It's, that even just sounds awkward to say. It's ingrained into Yo, our DNA. Slow cooked meats, gross. 
No. Okay, this fried chicken? Oh, was fire. Was it chicken? What? Oh, oh she got the chicken from the top of the burger. Yeah, I did. Brown. <laughs> I'm like picking at it. Tell us. Um, it's it's your normal, typical, like hole in the wall fried chicken. It's what you really it's like when you kind of want fried chicken, it's like what you what you expect. Yeah. It's okay. not it's not disappointing. Nice. I like how the skin is like so thin and, and it's crispy. just yeah. Can you pass me a flavorful? Yeah. Hey, for sure it's Thank you, sir. Mm. Uh, fried chicken is my thing. Isn't I feel like everything is your thing. Mm -hmm. Good food is your chicken. thing. Yeah, there, yeah. You go. there you go. Food and um but Yeah, so we'll just go on Yelp and we'll research and research mm. and be like, okay, let's do these three spots. And then we'll just go and try them. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. I'm I'm saying with the chili oil? Yeah. Yo! The chicken with the chili oil? Please. Yeah, Please. Please put some chili oil. Boon plug. Yo. A little boon plug. Tell us about this chili oil you brought. Oh yeah. Tell hey. us about the chili oil, please. You gotta get, you gotta get Max on here, dude. Okay. So Max Boon Thanakit makes this chili oil. He's uh, recently moved to Bangkok, but him and his wife, uh, fiance, is selling this, and it's just made with sh fried shallots, garlic, uh, dried chilies, anchovy, fennel seeds, prickly ash, salt, and sugar, and it's like just adds another layer to the. Uh, mm -hmm. To the dish, my man just brings it on the fly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you gotta have in that. You gotta have this in your in side hip. Hit, 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 hit my wing with that. You gotta hit it in your. Thank you. So That's gonna be spicy, but you'll be fine. May I please have another uh, on my wing? <laughs> <laughs> you Thank you. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You're gonna be sweating my friend. That's fine. Then don't underestimate my tolerance <laughs> for spiciness. <laughs> with my brown ass. I say that out of politeness. <laughs> mm. Ooh. It really, yeah. I got a little piece of that. It hits different. It does hit different. That hit. That is really good. Like the food was really good before. It just like it just gives you. It just mixes things up. And Tway, no joke, this is great fried chicken. Yeah. What we're trying to do is get an engineer in the building. <laughs> Miss Engineer over here, is this come up with egg? something. Yes, yeah, there's an omelet, egg in there. It's a fucking omelet. Two omelets, dude. Yeah. No, no way. There's a bomb. With a whole egg. sausage. <laughs> like, there's a sausage, yeah. So cool. Yeah. There's another. What's in the middle? Is that another bun or is that a fried thing? I don't know. I'm kind of scared, Which guys. Which one? This one? <laughs> this one. It's like, they got it's, a whole ass That's omelet. another bun. It's really intimidating. And there's a little sausage Ow. down there. Is something like steamy right now? Oh, okay. no. I know, I'm good. Okay. Wait, I, I think it's... What, what are we going to do? Like, like, do you even know how to attack this? There's no, I, I don't know. That was my first thought. How are we going to eat this? How do people eat this? Where's how would you mm -hmm. eat this? I would... Comment down below. There's a whole ass omelet. I cannot believe that. Where is it? How would you even start? I know. There's, there's mustard down here. I would... Everyone just takes a segment. A segment of it? But like everything is connected by sauce. Yeah. But we just gotta get down. I'm just looking at it mathematically. Because we're not putting yeah. that like a pie. <laughs> alright, like alright. Let me take off my fucking rings. Why don't you hold it sideways and just eat it like a cord on Let's the top? Let's do this. Oh yeah, like a... Yeah. Shit. You wanna take off the stick? Yeah, um, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you guys, this is like an experience. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Yo. There you go. She did it. Tell me that's not pro. That's pro. Tell me that's not pro. That's pro. If that's you got a collar, you should pop it. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Whoa, that's a, actually a really good burger. I'm telling you. That's a really juicy burger. Hawkins. Okay. They don't even Hawkins. know. Hawkins. I'm gonna put you down real quick. Sharing a meal with good company. What more can you ask for when you're doing a food crawl? And then we can even cross pollinate here. You got the, the fries yes. with the, uh, the oxtail sauce. Cross pollinate. Ooh, cross That's the new one. Right. I like that one. All about it. Instead of fusion, just say cross pollination. <laughs> well, this is really politically a, correct. Mm -hmm. a 2020 dining experience. Yeah. What do we rate this, the oxtail? Um, Reach, go first. Oxtail was phenomenal. It was juicy.
juicy and since it was braised and stewed it really um, it was quite tender okay. as it should be so I'm, I'm gonna rate it a 9 out of 10 9 okay then the chef I couldn't possibly <laughs> here we go, put a number on it but okay. all I'll say is that I haven't had anything close to as as a as close to home cooking as, as this. Okay. Like it's very, I, yeah. could, I could imagine eating this at someone's house. Mm -hmm. I feel yes. like this is very. It tastes like love. Tastes like love. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a family recipe. I bet you there's nothing written down. Like I bet you it's all done yeah. by like the same person that cooks it every time. Um, no, it's delicious. Like it's very grounding. Yeah. All right, wow. now put a number on it. <laughs> I, I would say. I mean, it's the best version of it that I've had, so I can't. Okay. I would say it's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. If I'm trying to be diplomatic, because I haven't yeah. had another version of okay. it. Okay. So. Brissa? How am I supposed to go after these two? <laughs> they used right. up everything I wanted to say. But just say same. <laughs> same. It's super tender, fall off the bone, literally melt in your mouth. Yes. And with the rice and the beans, the rice soaks up oh. all the juices and all the fat and all the spices. So a combination of that is amazing and then when you just put the plantains in there you get the sweetness the caramelization from the banana like the plantains cut that out not bananas <laughs> plantains and then the acidity from the slaw it's just uh, it's phenomenal i would yeah. give it a 10 out of 10 100 percent wow 100%. okay i think my number would be a nine yeah a it's nine. just good yeah it's really good the jerk chicken was good too it was so yes. juicy now let's move on to the jerk it's chicken juicy <laughs> It was uh yeah like you said it was juicy, it was it was tender like a slow spicy. jam playlist. Yeah. Yes. Um, it was the most spicy version of jerk chicken I had. Yeah. I'm sweating as you can see right now. <laughs> I'm glistening. Oh, <Whoa>, versus. <laughs> if I had to give it a number, I'd give it an eight out of ten. Eight. Hey, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Zen, your turn. Do I have to write it again? <laughs> it's all good. Like honestly, I the the speech that I gave the speech the review that I gave was speech was for both dishes. Okay. Like I think they're both equally great. I think yeah. the chicken, I think it's a good cut of meat. Like they chose the dark meat um, to focus on that, which is good. Okay, so you're team dark meat? Uh, for this style, for sure. Okay. Because it's slow cooked, I'm guessing, and it's the, the marinade, so it's, ju it's just more moist on the bone. Yeah. Like eating meat off the bone is always going to be better. It adds moisture to it, mm -hmm. like, so I think almost like chicken is to scale the best meat yeah. on the bone. Protein. I like how everything is just like balanced uh, with all the flavors. Even though it's really like uh, the flavors were aggressive, um, mm -hmm. they had things to balance it out, like the slaw and the mm -hmm. plantains and the uh, little festival. Mm -hmm. But I could yeah. I could also imagine like buy more than you need, pick it down the next day, and like put it in oh, an omelet. Oh, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Like you could oh you could God, get like yes. two or three days, put it in a sandwich, <sighs> have it with tacos. Like you could. Endless opportunities. Yeah, I would yeah. make a fried sure. rice with the mm. oh, sauce. Oh, still fried rice. So Imagine. Right. Keeps... Put an egg on it. It's a good investment. Beautiful. You're a good investment. It's a holiday. Chef's Stop. kiss. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. This Keep going. This was cheap too. This was, I think, was like $15.99. Very, very costly. For the oxtail. And then the chicken was like $13.99, right? Yeah. It's some good deal. It's a good deal. I'm not getting anything like this in Hollywood. No. Yeah. Which yeah, is fried golden chicken. Bird. So ready. Yeah, fried chicken is my thing. Yeah, is it? Okay. Well, after uh, you. Alright guys. Uh, yeah. Here we go again. Table set up on the side of the restaurant. Literally. This is what you gotta do. Okay, and then we're gonna... It looks so flaky. It looks so crispy. Okay. That's perfect. And then wow. wow. Feed some rice with it. So Rissa is the queen of setting up the, the mac and cheese. 
Yeah. So I think this is the eight piece family meal. Yep. Yeah. Right? Uh, what was this? Uh, mixed with cornbread and biscuits. Yeah. Wow, look at that cornbread! Ooh, it's have a flaky biscuit. Wow, 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 wow. I'm ready. If, what did they say? I don't know, dude. What did you say? I don't know. Something. The UPS guy? I feel like we've been hollered at, like, just yeah. like being out here. Sorry, ladies, I <laughs> didn't mean to attract all that. Yeah, it's all your fault. Reach. Reach. Tone it down. Tone it down. <laughs> all right, guys. I got a little, this is a thigh piece, yeah, yeah, is this thigh? It looks like thigh. a thigh, it looks like, yeah. like a really good thigh. This is a thigh piece. Like I said earlier, you can see the crunch, like the little bits and pieces, the little clumps, that's where the crunch is at. Okay. That's where it lives. First bite for me. Oh my god! What was that? It was like a burst of flavor in my mouth. Burst. Burst. Listen, listen. Juicy. Mmm. Crunchy. Flavorful. Right. So tell me, what is the ideal fried chicken food? The ideal? fried chicken for me there has to be um the meat has to be seasoned the meat has to be brined so it can bring out the flavor of the meat and not just the uh the coating itself okay you know um and then the coating also needs to be seasoned mm -hmm. and uh it needs to be crunchy i love i love having a crunchy flaky coating that's that's a good fried chicken to me yeah that that crunch when you bit into it sounded like a that was accident. insane yeah. what rating or you wow. want to sell on it for a little bit? Mm-mm. All right, off the, off the top. Off the top. Nine. Oh, for sure. Wow. That's really high. Nine. That is this a high one. rating. Yeah. Straight up, this is the best chicken. So good. It's like tempura on crack. Like, <laughs> it, it, it has a the flaky texture of tempura, yeah. but like, so much more flavor. You know what is so much more crunch. It tastes like a very thin chicken skin. You know when you... The, that You're like because right. if you peel it off it's like has that like chicken skin ish yeah and like the crunch too but it's not it's batter so it's hard to explain right i can't explain it all right which way get to try the other stuff too <laughs> so wait, did you drink it did you do it with your lemonade too like what? take a bite and then have a big sip of your lemonade like, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's like comfort. Yeah, like, I, I need to be on the couch right now. Uh, You're not feeling the mac and cheese? Not feeling the mac and cheese. Let's try What these. about it that you don't like? It tastes like plastic. Mm. It tastes like plastic. Let's plastic. try these red beans and rice. Though. Interesting. Mm. Oh, it's a bay leaf. <laughs> oh, okay, at least they season it. Yeah, there's a big old bay leaf in there. Very dense. Dense? Yeah. The mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is very dense. Mm. I don't mind it. I feel like I'd be good with hot sauce. Yeah. It needs hot sauce on it. Oops. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Okay. I'd give it like a probably a four. Like it's good, but it's not like whoa. Best thing I've ever had. Alright, cornbread time. Action. Ooh, yummy, 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 yummy. That felt very fluffy going in your mouth. Mmm. It is very fluffy. Okay. Do they have butter? Did they give you butter? I am gonna start doing that. Oh. I feel like it needs butter. Very good. Yeah. I don't wanna see. This, this, this chicken is phenomenal. The chicken, I think, come here for the chicken. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? 
definitely not come here for like the sides are definitely not the star no they're yeah they're definitely not they're definitely sides <laughs> they they are the sides the little chicken oyster yes the oyster this is a little nugget a little golden nugget of the chicken thigh how do you find that it's just like in the crevice right here mm. it's like when you're fabricating a chicken mm -hmm. you're breaking the thigh apart you kind of get your thumbs in there mm -hmm. and you scoop it out that's how you kind of like get oh. it like really off the bone okay okay i low-key changed my mind 10 out of 10 on the chicken <laughs> it's really good really good um definitely a place for chicken um the sides are meh so really like just focus on the chicken if you want to come here <laughs> like the cornbread i don't know if i can eat one more chicken i don't i'm not a big fan of beans so i'm not even gonna try that because i know i'm not gonna like it. i don't like beans i, don't like beans. I know it's so weird Why don't you like beans? i just i don't like beans i i don't like the texture and i don't like the flavor yeah. So do you, you don't like red bean stuff then? Obviously. No, I don't like red beans. Like even in any uh, like savory or like in desserts, I hate beans in anything, <laughs> in any shape or form. Sorry, beans. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. And we're done. We are done. We are done for the day. Today was quite an adventure. Yeah. Thank you, you guys, for inviting me. Yes, thank you no for problem. coming. Okay. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Who's I'm looking for my phone. Oh, I'm like, are you? No, <laughs> like, I was like looking for So my... she's the driver. She just like sat down in the back seat. <laughs> so I'm like super confused. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. It, everything was delicious. If you guys um, decide to come out to these places, let me know how it was. Tag me. Um, you guys can find more of me on Instagram and Twitter at Toyota Bay. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.